Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Largely Catechized Life. Wrong youth group looks like this. Hey kids, Jesus loves you, so you know, stay in school, and don't do drugs, and don't have sex until you're married. And we'll just, you know, put some kind of different spin on that every single week, and hopefully a, an activity that's a wacky or zany enough that you don't notice that you're getting the same repackaged morality every single time. The problem is it doesn't work, does it? The real problem is that the grown-ups are terrified. <laughs> How do we make you behave? Because we see something, that, that sin breaks stuff, and we don't want to see any of you get hurt because we care about you. And that care blinds us to the fact that you already are hurt. See, we're born sinful. We're born into misery and brokenness and, well, death. Just saying, y'all behave now that's not going to cut it, especially when, well, it's too late. The sins that we commit, they're part of a deeper problem. Thus, you see how the first commandment is the chief source and fountainhead which flows into all the rest, and again, all return to that and depend upon it, so the beginning and end are fastened and bound to each other. In other words, Every time we sin, we break at least two, the first commandment and something else. Because, well, if we really did fear, love, and trust in God above all things, there wouldn't be any other questions. There wouldn't be any other issues. We have a faith problem. That's what sin is. It is a lack of faith. But the thing is, you can't yell somebody into faith. You can't morality somebody into faith. You can't bully somebody into faith. But the gospel, the gospel creates faith. We have a faith problem, every last one of us. But God gives us a faith answer. He preaches the gospel to us. Jesus died for you sinners. Jesus died for you broken. Jesus died for you dying that you might live. The great hope that Christianity is, be you in high school, be you in college, be you a grown-up with kids of your own, Jesus died for sinners. All of us, all of us have daily a faith problem, and so daily God answers it. We call it baptism which indicates that the old Adam in us should by daily contrition and repentance be drowned and die with all sins and evil desires, and that a new man should daily emerge and arise to live before God in righteousness and purity forever. How do we deal with a faith problem? Well, we look to the Holy Spirit who calls, gathers, enlightens, sanctifies, and keeps. He's really good at his job. That means that grown-ups and kids alike can take a deep breath. That means that for those of you already crushed by sin, there is a gospel, a Jesus who bled and died for you to raise you back up holy and righteous every single day. And that means for all you grown-ups terrified of how to make those kids behave, there is a Jesus who actually works real holiness in them every single day. This is the great peace that we have. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. HigherThings.org slash support. Give today.